In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really simple photo effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Druid here and as you can see the effect, uh, it's very simple. I wanted to create something beginner friendly without too much complications. Something can be done a bit quicker. Uh, so to create this effect, first of all, let's open the original model photo. To do that, you can go to file and select open. And on your browser, find the model photo and open it inside the Photoshop. Good. Uh, now we need to remove the background. Uh, because it's a very simple background, uh, it shouldn't be a big problem how to uh, remove it. For example, you can right click here and first of all, you can get an object selection tool uh, and then make a selection of the model. For me it takes a bit longer because my laptop is trash but yeah that that looks good now if you don't have this option or if the background is a bit more complicated or something there is another option so i'm gonna uh, remove this selection uh, then you can go to your quick selection tool every photoshop version has this i think so you take this and just make a simple selection of the model Once the selection is ready, we can apply the layer mask. So go and click on this third icon here uh, and it will apply a mask. Right now there is nothing in the background. So I'm gonna create new adjustment layer and select a solid color. And in the solid color, select anything. So I'm just gonna select this uh, bit of a cyan tone that you saw in the intro and then hit okay. Now this, we need to put it under the model so you can see what's going on. Now before we go further, I want to make a copy of this layer just to keep as a backup. So uh, just make a copy of this and rename it to backup and put that backup under your uh, the background layer, the color fill. You don't need to touch it or use it unless you make a mistake here so that you can delete it and make a copy of this and use it again. I hope that's clear. Now I need to apply the layer mask for that. Click on the mask, not the model, but the mask. They both are different thing. So right click on the layer mask and then select apply layer mask. So now you have the background gone and you also have like no layer mask. Now activate this tool, right click and select rectangular marquee tool and make a selection around the eyes. Don't try to make it perfect. It's not important because now I can just right click and select transform selection and it will give me this bounding boxes which allows me to adjust the selection so i'm gonna put it somewhere around here and make sure it goes outside both ways uh, and that looks good after that confirm it and while your selection is still active and also make sure you have your selection tool active as well okay so right click here and then select layer via cut it looks like nothing happened but if I turn this uh, layer's visibility on and off, as you can see, now that piece is in a separate layer, which is exactly what we want. Now activate your move tool and you can move around this piece. Now we don't want it to go here and there. We just need it to go to the left. So hold your shift key and then drag it to the left so you can move it in a straight line. So I'm gonna put it somewhere around here so it doesn't look very awkward and looks like a more sophisticated. Good. Now we can add in the hand. To do that, we need to now place the image, not open it. So go to file and then go to place embedded. And here select this photo of the hand and place it. And I'm gonna confirm it. Now, if you look at this photo, it's a bit more complicated than the model photo, the background, but we can still do it. Now for this one, I'm not making a backup and just applying the mask, but you can make a backup if you want. It's completely up to you. Uh, now, uh, this one, if I right click and you will see that apply layer mask is actually grayed out and I cannot apply it. That is because this layer is still a smart object, which stops me from doing it. To, to change it, you can right click and select rasterize layer. So it's a normal raster layer now. Now when I click the mask, right click, 
and select you can see the apply layer mask is back so apply it and you just have the hand now we need to rotate the hand and make it uh, bigger to do that press command T so you have these boxes then you can rotate it in whatever direction you want uh, you can do this uh, and then I'm gonna make the hand a little bit bigger if you do it directly it, it's it's not good so to fix it you hold your shift key when you make it bigger the basic composition is ready and the most difficult part is done now we need to do some color corrections to make it look more uniform to do it first of all I'm gonna group all the layers here the top layers to do it hold down your control key and then you can click the layers that you want to group so this three layers I want to group them then press command G so it's in a single group and I'm just gonna rename it model and hand good now first let's make the model a little bit more blue so she matches well with the background for that you can just take this color fill layer or whatever color you have in the background and make a copy of it so press command J so you have a copy now take this copy and you have to put it on top of the model like this uh, then change the blending mode of this layer to color now it's too much blue I know so just go and change the opacity to something like 10% so now if I zoom in and turn it on and off, as you can see, there is like a subtle blue tone on top of model, which makes it a lot more uniform. Now, another issue I have this with this thing is there's not enough contrast to do the to fix it. You can create new adjustment layer and then select uh, curves. So curves, it looks crazy, but if you want to add more contrast in general, you just make an S shape. So you add a little bit of highlights here and then you punch a little bit of shadows here and then you have the contrast so I think that looks okay and then I'm gonna close it now I want to apply a filter like a final filter on top of it to bring everything together and also add some film grain effect to do it we need to create a combine layer like to mix everything in a one layer because right now it's all over the place so create new blank layer and I'm just gonna rename it snapshot or what I don't know there's no logic just name it whatever you want and then press command option shift and E this case together and as you can see now you have everything on a one layer that's awesome then you go to filter and then go to filter gallery and in filter gallery uh, there is this filter called film grain and here my settings are 4 0 and 0 but you can play around and do whatever you want so looks good if I turn it on and off as you can see it makes it a lot better and then hit OK so that's it this is the final output the most beautiful thing about this is that everything is customizable so you can just delete the snapshot layer you can go back and change the color of this to something completely different i'm gonna make it a bit more yellow hit ok then you can just go like here like copy this code here as you can see go here in this layer uh, and then paste that code hit ok and now you have a completely different color correction uh, maybe do some changes in curves you can move this piece around and like you have all the freedom it is still there and then you can do the same thing again create new blank layer command option shift E you have everything as a snapshot then you can go to filter and because we already applied that filter there is an option here like the first one if you click that the Photoshop will automatically apply that filter so now we have this filter and I did all of those changes in less than one minute that's awesome so that's it for this video. I really hope that you guys learned something and if you did, hit that like button. And if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, feel free to ask me in comment section below. Uh, if you wanna check out more videos by me, you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel and more importantly, hit that notification icon. So every time I upload a new video, you will be notified. 
uh, until then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop